I was born in 1997 during the Somalia war and my parents decided to escape because it was no longer safe to stay in Somalia. So they just really wanted a better opportunity for their kids and themselves. I'm the first one to go to college in my family, so that's the thing that they wanted for a better life for all of us. I think because of my life experience living in a refugee camp, we settled into this country experiencing um, things that have been said to me for being Muslim and for being an immigrant black woman. All those have given me strength to continue the work that I'm doing. We're going to my African American history class. We just talk about like the history of African Americans. We talked about slavery, the civil rights movement. This is City Hall where I organized the first rally for the immigration ban and the whole area was just full of so many people. We are hard workers, doctors, lawyers, business owners, college students. I am a Muslim and an immigrant and I am an American and this is not the America I believe in. Two nights before that, I was debating on whether I should go through this or not. And I never organized something like that before. So it was like one of the most proudest moments ever because you had like little girls and little boys and babies <laughs> and grandmothers and fathers and daughters and sisters and mother all show up to this rally. And it was just amazing that they were able to come together to show solidarity to our Muslim and immigrant community. My name is Hamdi Ahmed. I am a proud Muslim woman who's an immigrant and black. You don't have to be afraid of me for wearing a headscarf because of things that you see in the media. My religion stands for peace. And if you ever have a question about my culture or who I am as a Muslim woman or my headscarf or the fact that I'm a black woman or not from this country, you can always come up to me and I'm willing to tell you about who I am.